Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being so consistent. In today's video, I am with an experienced broadcaster in Liberia. So I'm taking time with my introduction, the English, the diction, everything before she corrects me. <laughs> so, um, hello Rose, how are you Hi, doing? Hi, I'm fine. Welcome to my channel. We've been playing this one. <laughs> I don't know sure. how many years. <laughs> I yeah, it's been long, man. It's been yes. two years. Yeah, but we're finally doing it, so. Finally, finally. And we face a lot of challenges today to reach this far, but. At least we are here. <laughs> I mean, this is Liberia, right? Yeah. Just, you gotta face small, small challenges <laughs> here and there. Yeah. But we're here now. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I already know you, but can you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do? <laughs> okay, so I am Weata Rosemary McKeever, Sassy MC for. Sassy, this. okay. Yes. For those that know the brand, and I am a multiple award winning media personality, even host, uh, brand influencer, producer, mentor, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. So, uh, basically, that's what I do. Why are you taking mentees? <laughs> Mm, for now, no. I'm still Ow. trying. I'm still. <laughs> you just rejected me like that. Look at you. <laughs> you know what you don't mean me say? <laughs> of course. Girl, you're one of Liberia's best YouTubers in, like, I mean, in this country. So, of course, we're trying to get lessons from you. Like, how do you do it? I, I, I won't turn an interview around because you know me now. Mm -hmm. Girl, I really had to like, do it. How do you do it? <laughs> Getting all those subscribers, because in Liberia, in Liberia, for people to subscribe to your YouTube channel is really hard. It so is. How, how did you get to that Facebook. point? Yes. So I don't know what I'm away from my own time when I call you on my show. Get with or me on my time. <laughs> because today we're trying to know about you. Sure, sure. No so um, you mentioned that you are Sassy MC. Mm -hmm. So before I got to know you personally, when I came across Sassy MC on Facebook, I was like, wait. Who is this person? Like, how can you say Sassy MC? Like, what's going on? Because you know, Sassy in Liberia, it has a bad a um, negative connotation, uh, right? Yes. When people, when you, when someone tells you you're Sassy, they're trying to insult you, right? So I was like, who's this young woman who's daring at us and saying I'm a Sassy MC? I'm good at my job. Right. I'm gorgeous and I'm killing this game. Her. So like. When did you um, decide to become a broadcaster in Liberia and how has the journey been like? Mm -hmm. So this started up um, back then when I was in high school. I, I, I always have to tell the story. I wanted to be a petroleum engineer. But man... Engineer? Petroleum. I do know math. I don't know science. But I said I want to be a petroleum engineer. But then there was this time when LBS started doing a child broadcasting thing. So my father was like, you get sharp muff, you get tall plenty. So, you know, let me register you so that you could, you know, start going. So I started attending, at that time I was called Liberia Children's Media Day at ELBC. So I started attending it and I loved it. So for the two, uh, the three years I attended it for two, I won Best Broadcaster of the Year. Period. Then the other, the following year was the Day of the African Child. And then I also got a, got a certificate from there for participating. So I was like, okay, this I like, yeah. you know, so I'm going to venture into it. So I started, uh, I decided to go to school for it. So I graduated with a mass communications degree. And then after I was going to school, I started, I, I wanted to apply to other media institutions, but you know, Liberia did, I, I don't know, but most of the companies in Liberia, they don't have that mindset of, let me bring this person in and you know groom this person not groom but you know to nurture this person uh, help them yes grow. help them to so they grow can, um, help to nurture their full potential thank you most companies in Liberia, most old people in this country they don't have that mindset so most of the the uh, media companies that i applied to they rejected me because i didn't have the experience like how will i have the experience when you, you guys are not even giving me the chance to have the experience like it's just all the same, all the yes, they they're all just have the, the same, same problem. So that was how um, I applied to Cool FM. A friend of mine uh, um, made the recommendation, Elaine Reeves, and I applied there. And uh, big, big hats off to Christopher Hayes Onanunga. He's one person that's big on youth empowerment. So as long as you're a young person and he sees that you have great potential, he tries to bring you on board, you know, to help you in the process. So he took me in. 
and he gave me a show to do with Elaine because I was a novice at the radio station that time. So Elaine was my host and I was co-hosting Elaine, you know, trying to see the ropes, see how to work the console and all of that. And then if one or two times that he heard us on the radio and then we came out that evening because we're doing a show called Soul to Soul. I have <laughs> that name, he's going to be Soul to Soul. <laughs> yeah, so when we came out from the studio, he was like, do you guys have a radio name? So I said, no, you know, I'm a novice. I was about to use Rosemary on the radio. And then he was like, no, Elaine, you're a frisky person. You're frisky, you're more sharp and all that. Elaine is frisky. So he said, you buy you frisky and you sassy. You got your own, you get small it, you frisk it, but you get small it, calm vibe to it, so you're sassy. So I said, okay, I mean, I didn't even have a radio name. So we got on the radio, and then I just added the MC because I, at that time, do I was on the radio, but people used to ask me to go and to master a ceremony job, you know, to MC their events and all that. So I just put that to my name. So it used to be MC Sassy, but then I turned it around to Sassy MC. So that's how I got the name, and that's how I started. And it hasn't been easy right it hasn't been easy because um for the kind of job that we do i am very sure you you've had you know similar uh, um, experience or experiences for the kind of job that we do is hard for us to make money and and, and do we have the passion for this i can tell anybody if i didn't have the passion for broadcasting i wouldn't have been here but by, by now because i need to eat i mean my rent is 200 dollars and i'm not even making making that per you know per month Right, so this just has to be passion. Because if, if you are doing a work and your work cannot meet your needs, then why are you doing the work? Yeah, like when I graduated from Peter Kukui, mm -hmm. um, working on the field, like just what you mentioned, you need to have passion. Yes. Once you're a journalist and like they'll always tell you, you need to be passionate, you need to be passionate. passionate. So will I be passionate for nine years before I'm finally able to earn 150 at the end of the month? Because I was, I was given, um, like, in three months, my boss would give me 50 USD. At that time, I was not feeling it because my mom was literally doing everything. Transportation, she was just big on me getting the experience. But then it just hit me hard and I realized that I don't want to put this passion and so much love behind someone else's dream. What that person is not appreciating my effort. Yeah. So that's why I just decided that, okay, if I'm ever going to go this hard for something, it has to be my own thing. Right. Because that was the same decision that I made. Because even though I, I can always say big hats off to Cool FM, even though I was there um, hosting their shows and all like that, I felt like I needed to do my own thing. Yes. Because I, I want to explore. I want to, you know, go wild. Have a brand. Yes. So that, that's how I left um, Cool and then I went to Hot FM. Then I built a brand. That's how I started to talk, my show. So I started on the radio and then it started getting recognition. I spent a year at Hot FM and then it started getting recognition. That's, that's, recognition. Where, I, that's where I saw you yeah. when you were doing your live videos. Yes. yes. So I uh, had FM. And instead of getting recognition, instead of getting recognition, that's how people started knowing their name, Sassy MC, because, you know, when you're on the radio and you're doing other people's show, it's not your show, so you cannot, you cannot put your all into yeah, it to, to fully, you yes. know. So that when I started to talk with Sassy MC, it was really good. You know, I started getting a lot of people wanting to say, oh, okay, I want to sponsor. You're doing well. Let's do, let's do that. And then, then I, I made a huge break and big mistake in my career. I don't like to go into details when I'm talking about it online because, you know, it's, it's another online. person, it's company as well. But that break that I took because I left from Hot FM to move to another uh, place and it, it wasn't the best idea. It wasn't the best decision that I made for my life. So it, you know, once you're a media person and you are not mainstream, everybody tends to forget about you. True. As long as you are not mentioning, you, need, you need to keep posting. You need to keep on posting. The day you stop all yes. those videos, people, yes. people forget, forget about that you're you. There. That's how the media you works. You need to be updating them regularly. Yes. They need to keep seeing you. Yes. For you, for them to know that oh, okay, you're still a content creator. You're yes. still doing, you're still doing, doing, doing this. that. Doing that yeah. If you stop. People, people, people forget move about on. You. People move There'll on. There'll always be someone doing what you're doing. Thank you. That's it. So that break, people took the sort of forgot about me yes. you know people started forgetting they stopped i mean they started forgetting about me they started you know the name sassy mc wasn't ringing like that anymore like it used to yes because even whilst i was at that company i wasn't uh, um in a mainstream position 
you know, I was holding a big position, but then I wasn't mainstream for me to do my show, for me to do my work and all of that. You were working I was, on helping yes. people develop their shows. So that's that's how I decided, um, no, this is not the right path for me. So I didn't even stay long that. Then it was about two, three months, and then I resigned to get back and that's how then, then I, I I met the KMTV team and then we started my show and now my show is one of you know the shows that people know in yeah Liberia. of course we're supposed to know it yes. and the branding is so on point and um yeah something I want to know as a young um, lady normally if you're in the, entering the media field Liberia is challenging but as a young woman um what are some of the challenges that you have had to face um, growing in the media space or just growing and trying to become your own person and an entrepreneur in Liberia? I would say finances, I would say manipulation, um, gaslighting and all like that because when people see you are a young person, everybody tends to have some sort of opinion about you or about what you're doing, about your career. I might be like, no, don't do this, go and do that. No, 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 the other person, no, don't do this, go and do that. And if you are not focused, if you don't know where you're headed, you start listening to everybody. So you start having different views about your career and then you start being like this, like this, like this. So that was one of the issues I faced. Cause I looked, I looked up to a lot of people. So when I was in another, another challenge was not having the right people to guide me. Because there are a couple of times I reached out to big names people, people that that were in the media before me, and then I didn't really, I didn't actually get get the reception that I wanted. Nobody wanted to say, okay, I see your potential in you. Let me nurture you. Let me take you there. You know, when you were doing this, let me advise you. I'm gonna do this or do that. So when I finally started finding people to give me those pieces of advice. It was just different, different uh, pieces of advice. You know, this person is telling me do this. This person so is telling had me to do that. Pick and choose. So see yes. which one works best. So it for was just I that. was just here, then yonder. I didn't have a fixed mind. Now one 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 person that, that that's really been you know pressing me. Two persons pressing me, pressing like this is how you go in. I've been following their advice, and then he has taken me so far. It's Subin Cooper and Chris Wallow. Those pe two people they've really they've really done you know, marvelous when it comes to my career. Like they are like this, do this, and do I hear that. good things about them. Yes, so so they are really good when it comes to the entertainment and, and the media industry in Liberia. And then the finances. You know, to do this work is not easy, Loretta. Not at all. You have your camera, you have to buy the camera. You you got other things, you, you, you go out of town to do work. You need transportation. You know all of those things, but the work that we do, we get paid by advertisements. We get paid by sponsorships. You know, we get paid by other people. Other people got to pay us, to, you know, to hire us to do this, 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 before we get paid. But then it's not, it's not coming in like that because apparently people feel like, oh, it's, I have my social media account, I can post. You know, social on my social businesses. Oh, don't get me I started. I can just post on my social media feed. If what you're should I go doing it, if you're doing it for free, they will gladly tell of you. Of course, Thank you. but to go and pay. And I just look at my subscribers. Sometimes they'll be like, Loretta, you need to make sure that people are paying you for these videos, the way you're advertising know. their businesses. And sometimes know. I just want to cry and I want to scream and I want to write in a comment section and just explain my life problems and tell them that if you are trying to reach out to a Liberian owned business or just business in Liberia, they don't want to work that they will pay you, but they want you to go to their establishment where you pay for the food, you pay right. for the drinks, and then you pay you to enter, and then you, you. You, you record to beautiful content, and then they will reshare on their pages as if to say they paid you to do the work. Like, just an example, right? There's this one brand that I visited, um, this establishment I visited, and it's a really nice place in Liberia. So I did a couple of content that surprised um, 100,000 views online on my different platforms. So I decided to reach out to this brand again that, oh, I'm trying to um, propose a new partnership, something that adds more value to your company. Mm -hmm. And these are videos that I've already done of your brand. So you understand that I like your brand and I'm actually a perfect fit to promote your brand based on the stats and based on the fact that I've experienced it before. Right. And let me just tell you, they're still getting back to me. But now if I revisit 
Yeah. They were, they were glad they allowed yeah, me to pay for the food. They were even recognized me that, oh, that they gave from the video there. But I will pay interest fees. I will go there, they will tell me thank you. And if you don't do those things, you won't promote anything like your own business online. If you if you cannot do it for free, you won't promote them. Right. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why people do this. So there are another thing against this brand influencer, brand ambassador thing. <sighs> oh, Lieutenant, I fly out. I'm going to tell you, brand ambassador for this business, for that business, for this business. You you got deals. I'm like, do you guys know the deals that we can sign in this country? <laughs> there are so many supportive people as well. Um, I like to tell people that if I didn't have the subscribers that I have, I don't think I would still be doing YouTube, even though I have the passion for it. But the time that I will post online that, oh, I'm visiting this county, I need support, and one or two persons will reach out to me to help out, they're really keeping me going because I'm able to leave, I'm able to go because of someone. Yeah. And the phone that I have right now, I always like to talk about I'm a subscriber when I got the phone. Because anytime I take clear picture, I look at the picture, I'll be like, my phone picture here. I will not go tell you thank you again. But uh, let me stop embarrassing him. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are some of the services that you offer? Because you mentioned that when you were with Cool FM, you're doing MC, and your name is still Sassy MC. So just list the services that you offer because there might be people here right. who are interested in hiring someone with that um, service, and then they can reach out to you. Well, so I, I do event hosting, and I used I used to do it for for anything. But I, I, I decided not to be the kind of people that when they hit the spotlight, they don't like to share it. I am big on sharing my spotlight. So I have about, I mentored about seven to eight young people when I was, I'm, I'm not when I was, but I, I came to mentor them, um, taught them about getting their own shows and all like that. And I now, even know some of them. Yes. And now all of them got their shows as long as, so... Even though I am an even host, but I have limitations. So there are certain programs I do not personally MC. If people talk to me, say, oh, can you please do this for me? I say, I, know, I got people that can do that. Okay. Yes. So I'm, I'm coming up with my media company. I've already registered and everything. Where we'll be doing all of those things. Where I, I will have um, MCs that if you want to hire them to MC your events, you just come to us and then we will give you MCs. Depending on like the, 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 kind of the, the kind of event. Yeah, there are we'll events that myself will MC MCs, yes. and then there are some events that I will send them to MC. So that's what I do now. So for example, if I have, you know, just smaller events, especially club events, the kind of entertainment events, I don't usually go myself because I'm not really a night person. I've, I've had terrible experiences with hosting events in the night they're not paying me the right money and then i don't have transportation and all that so i decided not to to be handling night events so i have somebody that can handle night events so if you have an event and you're looking for even host or just red carpet host as long as it's a night event i have a very brilliant i have two brilliant um, young ladies that will do that if you are a Christian person and you are looking for a Christian MC or Christian red carpet host, I have somebody that can do that. But there are some Christian events that myself can go and handle based on what they want. Right? Exactly. So, but I'm, I'm more I'm more leaning towards corporate events. Oh. So yes, I host events for for corporate entities. Uh, like this is not an interview anymore. It's just like a conversation. It's a conversation. I <laughs> and I, I really hope, I really hope that people can understand the importance of the kind of work that we do. I really hope businesses can stop being so complacent about their 20k and 30k followers that they have online and work with influencers. Florida, oh, I, I tell I you, I tell you, the Nigerians, <laughs> the people respect influencers. Nigerians, when the people see no, you, no, I mean, no, I mean. they will respect influencers. I'm going to tell you the amount of companies that, that I have lost brands or deals with just because I'm in Liberia. It's too much. I when I'm posting a book and say, oh, move to Nigeria. It's not easy to just get up and just and relocate to, to another country. Move to another country. Like, it's not easy. I had this plan to, after graduation, to leave Liberia to go to Kenya or Ghana to study film, right? And then while working on applications and stuff like that, at least to build my knowledge when it comes to mm -hmm. video production and editing. But 
it's not easy. It's not easy. It's a lot of money. Everything. It takes a lot of take money. Everything is a consideration. Everything, rent, and then you're moving to a new country. You need. You don't have it's family not members. Easy. You're taking care of literally everything. So you just wake you up just get and up one morning and say, "Okay, I'm going to be okay." That's how you, you don't come want back. to come back. Because once you're leaving, you have set your mind that, oh, I'm I leaving because once. I want to become something. You don't just come back. I like tried that. it once. I was like, oh, I want to go to Canada to be a fashion designer. No, 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 no. I want that. <laughs> that is awesome. no, that's not that. <laughs> the depression I want me in our country, man. Hey, yo. If you not get money, bro, the depression I want me in our country. If you not get money, I used to go to school. <laughs> I used to be crying in class. They hear me stress for me. She said, why are you crying? You are doing so well. Your, your, your teacher told me that you were doing well, that you were one of his best students. Why are you crying? That's ah, so why I said, ma'am, I cannot make it in this school. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Can I go back to my country? <laughs> we're too complacent as young people. We are very complacent. Me, I can tell anybody. They play why I want reach in there. For why I want my show to reach, I want my brand to reach, and now my company that I have. It's not even halfway. Yeah, in a half way. Yeah, this is so many in goals. In a half way. Right big, now, I want my, my, my company to be one of the best in Liberia. Once I, I finally launched it, because right now I, I, I just put it out there, just spill the beans just now, but I haven't even launched it yet. Because there are a lot of things that I'm looking for. There are a lot of things that I want to accomplish. So I cannot be complacent. Every day, I'm, every day I'm sitting, I'm looking for new things to do. I'm looking for new ways to improve my show. New with that, that's why at first I was just doing only interview, but now I've incorporated a lot of things on my show. So I can also do not be complacent. Don't say because Loretta care, I'm not many thousand subscribers now on YouTube. So, oh yeah, I think I just go with that. No. You can reach a million followers. And guys, my inconsistency, they feel this. <laughs> not because I'm complacent, no. <laughs> no, not because I'm complacent, no. No money to create no content. Money. No money. Yeah. But other people, they I'm are very consistent. Because I'm very attacked, right? Because I care, 200 <laughs> followers. I mean, 200,000 followers. So, yes, I'm okay. Now, they feel that my Instagram that is... almost like some Liberian businesses. The high looking. You get to a certain place and you they don't aspire complacent. for more. You're too scared to invest um, because you don't want to It doesn't work like that. Uh, you're afraid that you won't give. It, it doesn't, doesn't work, work like that. that. That's why you see other countries, their businesses will always improve. But, uh, other foreign countries... And nationals that business will always improve because the people always they're always for ways to improve. There is this particular um foreign business in Liberia. Um that even if you have visited every after every six months they do rebranding. You see new things. They change the whole outer appearance, even the inner appearance. That's how it's so to when be. you see them, you'll be like, ah, that new place here and I visit. But it's somewhere you have been to before a lot yes. of times. But because they're constantly changing, they're constantly rebranding, you always be like, okay. I, I should visit this place. It's a new spot. You, you, you just, you just like have that. to think of new ways to reinvent yourself. And it has been. I don't know why we delayed this conversation because it has been really mind blowing today. Yeah. And sometimes, even though you know things that you're not supposed to do, but you can lose track. You know, like don't discriminate. Mm. Um, don't be complacent. And be consistent. And be consistent. These are things that, even though I'm doing them right now, but I'm going to keep them written down like yeah. okay so never do these things never feel intimidated ma exactly never feel intimidated nobody will intimidate you and a youtuber with 1.2 million followers you check out that person that people don't want to get the followers but they don't have your kind of subscribers what can support you financially that when you want to do this so don't even feel intimidated by anybody. No amount of likes, and no amount camera of camera I'm using right now, got it from my subscribers. You see? So guys, I really wanted to use the camera <laughs> and try it out, and it's so perfect. So, you so see? shout out to you. So don't even feel intimidated by anybody. Nobody, I can tell anybody, nobody's out of my league. I'm not below anybody's league. All of us, we are there. You may get money more well, than well, me. We are humans. Yes, you may get money more than me, but I know I have something too that you don't have, you know? So like that, don't that's how ever God feel did it. You always have something that other people don't yes. have. So don't be intimidated by what people have. And we all have different paths. Yes. So don't ever feel like, okay, I'm 25, you're 25. Yeah. So I'm supposed to have I'm, what you have. Thank you. Like, that doesn't make sense. That's not how life works. Or one thing I notice a lot of young people do, we want to get the success that people spend the past 20 years of their life working to get. If you, like someone who's yes. 35 and then someone who's 20, they you want get to it. get money or you want to be in a position that someone spent 15 you know, years of their know, life you know the, the, working the, the, to the get the challenges, the past. struggles. And people see content creation and this is a stereotype. I've had a lot of people come in my comment session saying, 
This is a really simple way to make money. I feel like simple. there is nothing easy in life. No matter the path you take, no matter how moral and immoral it is, there is nothing simple. People, people have to work. For you to get people followers. have to work hard to get to where they want to get. Even if you think you're better than someone because what they're doing is not morally right, but even what they're doing, as immoral as it, it, it looks to you, or as it is, nothing is easy. Not easy. You have to work as hard as and possible point, the can say, to if you, if you run them. Exactly. You have to work as hard as possible to I mean, get yeah, what I've been you having a YouTube channel since, I think, two years now, or three years. I'm still struggling in 300 subscribers. <laughs> if you easy, run on more. Run on. <laughs> yeah, so I'll definitely leave um, Sassy MC's um, email and uh, uh, social media links. Yes. <laughs> And I'll put the media links in the description box of my videos, and it will also be pinned in the comment section. So make sure you check her out online, reach out to do good work, and support a librarian who's very passionate, yeah, so who's inspiring I a get lot of young people. <laughs> I get my other work class, and then I need money too. So, yeah. Y'all don't mind her, mom. Y'all support her. Yeah, support Please. me and pick her. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you all for being so consistent. Um, thank you for supporting my joining. And if there are any sassy MC fans here, thank you for supporting her joining. Keep supporting. And don't forget to check the description box for her contact information. And then you can reach out for ways that you can partner with her to elevate her brand and for her to elevate your brand as well. Yes. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.